There are items and equipments in this game that have so many effects which were unintentional by the devs. We saw just a small example of that with my last Behemoth video, but there are tons of other interactions that this game has which were never explained to the player before. From trimping up slopes with wax coil and head stompers, to obscure things like a forgive me please being able to drop a lunar coin onto a pressure plate on abandoned aqueducts, to open the gates for Jaro's and Runeld's bands. This time around, we're covering what I think is one of the most underrated equipments in the entire game. An equipment that goes far beyond its in-game description and has the potential to be one of the best offensive and defensive equipments in the entire game. Today we're taking a look at the Blast Shower. The Blast Shower is an equipment with a low 20 second cooldown that lets you cleanse all negative effects. This includes debuffs, damage over times, stuns, freezes, and nearby projectiles. These listed interactions are only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to the true power that this equipment has. As we dive further into the Blast Shower, I plan to teach you guys every single hidden interaction that makes this equipment one of the most versatile, well-rounded equipments in the entire game. The main effect that Blast Shower has, which pretty much all players think of when they see that Blast Shower drop from an equipment barrel, is the fact that you can cleanse debuffs that are applied to you, ridding them from your survivor immediately. These cleansable debuffs include bleed stacks from imps and imp overlords, burn stacks from grandparents, blazing elites, and magma worms, that scary malachite debuff that restricts you from healing, the crippling effect from perfected lunar enemies and Mithrix's pizza and ground shockwaves, any collapse proc from void touched enemies that have absolutely blasted all of us a few times, and also rooting debuffs from void reavers and jailers that completely stop you from being able to move. These aren't even close to all the debuffs that can be cleansed with Blast Shower, but I'll provide a full list of all debuffs that are cleansable in the description below for you guys. Now we covered all the debuffs that can be cleansed, but it's important to note that there are a couple prominent debuffs that are not able to be cleansed by Blast Shower. These two debuffs are Eclipse 8 Permanent Damage Debuff and the debuff from Symbiotic Scorpion. These two debuffs, if applied to you, are not possible to cleanse unless you are revived using either Dio's Best Friend or Pluripotent Larva. Blast Shower does not protect you from these. Now there are some things that Blast Shower can cleanse that you would have never guessed. Things that truly make this equipment one of the most sought after equipments in any run. Blast Shower can make some of the most impactful items in the game even stronger. The most notable of these is with the banned items. Reynolds and Jaro's Band are an item that requires an attack over 400% total damage to initiate their extremely strong multiplicative damage and then go on a 10 second cooldown, with Singularity Band converting any Jaro's or Reynolds Band with a 20 second cooldown. In most cases, Singularity Bands are not as impactful as the other two are, so keep that in mind when you're deciding between corrupting them or not. That being said, when your Runolds, Jaros, or Singularity Bands are on cooldown, that dull icon at the bottom of your screen is technically a debuff. What this means is you can proc bands multiple times in very quick succession by simply cleansing the cooldown of the band with Blast Shower. This leads to not only a lot of band procs possible in a short time, but there are some very strong interactions that are applicable with this tech, with one other item that we all love at the center of it. The ATG Missile. If you are blessed with an ATG in your run, you can gain extremely powerful multiplicative damage. By hitting your target with your strongest attack, whether that be Loader's Punch, Rogue Gunner's Supercharge, Captain's Diablo Strike, or so many other very strong attacks like Head Stompers, you're doing very good damage already. Now imagine these incredibly strong attacks now proccing an ATG. By having an ATG launch from those attacks, you can cleanse the band's cooldown with Blast Shower while the ATG is flying towards the enemy. This makes the extremely strong ATG proc also able to proc bands, creating a band proc so strong that any boss will struggle to survive more than just a couple of them. This tech creates some of the most damaging attacks in the entire game. Now in the past, it has been shown in multiple videos out there that Singularity Bands paired with Blast Shower allows the Singularity Band to proc itself, creating an infinite loop of multiplicative damage. This was never intended by the developers when it was first introduced and has since been patched out, 
it is now impossible for a singularity band to proc itself over and over again getting insane multiplicative damage that was no way intended or balanced in the game. So any videos showing that interaction are outdated and will not be applicable to your runs. So what other very strong item is Blast Shower able to enhance even further than we could ever imagine? It's an item that with enough cooldown reduction from Blast Shower can make you nearly invincible. This next item is none other than Safer Spaces, arguably the most powerful defensive item in the entire game. Safer Spaces allows you to completely negate a single instance of damage and then goes on cooldown. But what if I told you that this cooldown is also counted as a debuff? So with Blast Shower, you can cleanse the cooldown of Safer Spaces, meaning you can block any attack that comes your way over and over again, giving you have some charges of your Blast Shower available. Massive hits that come your way from scary monsters like Brass Contraptions, Bison charging you down, or even hammer swings and slams from Mithrix himself can be completely negated one after the other by simply recharging your Saber Spaces cooldown instantly with Blast Shower. This tech allows for the most defensive interaction in the entire game for the least amount of items needed, allowing you to avoid an incredible amount of damage for such little item cost. Now, it's time to talk about another very impactful way to keep you alive using Blast Shower. It's time to use this equipment to give you the same power of one of the fan favorite survivor passives in the entire game. It's time to unlock the capabilities of Captain's defensive microbots. The easiest way to explain this interaction is to think of Blast Shower as a manual use defensive microbots with a pretty small range. This means if any projectile is coming your way, you can delete it with the Blast Shower just as Microbots could. And the most applicable of these attacks are ones that are telegraphed, meaning attacks that are visually indicated before they actually strike. Attacks like Stone Titan Punches, Solus Unit Ground Attacks, and Apothecary Ground Attacks as well, can all be completely deleted as long as you are in the center of the telegraph indicator. Another important attack to mention that is able to be deleted are the lightning orbs that an overloading elite can attach to you after hitting you. Simply use your blast shower and those extremely hurtful overloading orbs will be completely deleted. The last of the telegraphed attacks that I'm very proud of finding on my own a couple years ago now during my eclipse climb was the scariest attack that Mithrix has of them all. Come here buddy. Mithrix's pizza attack can be completely nullified with Blast Shower. Going into the center of the pizza attack where each line meets and using Blast Shower will completely remove the entire attack. And given just 4 fuel cells, the entire sequence can be taken out of Mithrix's arsenal of very powerful attacks. Now it's not only telegraphed attacks that can be deleted using Blast Shower, but these are the easiest to delete. Any projectile that comes your way, whether that be an Elder Lemurian fireball or a big ass rock that Grandpa threw at you from across the map, if you're quick enough with your Blast Shower usage, you can delete them. So if you really are in a pinch, just always know that you have that in your back pocket. This brings us to our last topic. What items can we collect that will benefit Blast Shower the most? Have it reach its true potential as one of the strongest offensive and defensive equipments in the entire game? Well, let's go over them. So we've already gone over how Blast Shower can instantly recharge the cooldown of the extremely powerful band items, creating a barrage of insane damage output. There's ATGs as well, paired alongside the cooldown tech of the band items for creating even stronger band procs than you could ever imagine. There's also Saver Spaces that can be paired with Blast Shower to make you basically an immortal being by also recharging its cooldown. Get as much use out of the cooldown refreshes as possible, Items to go along with these that let you use Blast Shower more often are very powerful. Items like Fuel Cells, Jester of the Drowned, and Soulbound Catalyst will increase not only your damage output substantially, but your survivability as well, since we learned that not only do safer spaces recharge with Blast Shower, but also any projectile that comes in your Blast Shower radius will also be just completely deleted. On equipment use items as well, like Warhorns and Bottled Chaos, are a great addition since Blast Shower has such a low cooldown of only 20 seconds without any items to reduce its cooldown or charges. The Blast Shower is one of the most versatile equipments in the game, granting you access to the most survivability out of any other equipment, and the power to output some very strong damage if used alongside bands. To some, this might have all been information that was known before, but to most, 
this equipment might have been one of their most underrated. I hope I've done a good enough job in making a few of you Blast Shower enjoyers and to help you utilize its true hidden powers. So make sure you give this video a like if you found it informative and helpful. If you want to learn more crazy stuff about this game, make sure you subscribe and check out some of my other videos and guides. And leave a comment if there's something you had no clue about that caught you off guard. I'll catch you guys next time as we discover more sick hidden interactions in this game.